In today's video, we're going to learn how you can make templates in Microsoft Outlook. So instead of you having to copy and paste the same thing or write it out over and over again, using templates is a great way to quickly get a bit of information you use quite a bit and put it straight into the body of your email. There are at present two versions of Microsoft Outlook and we're going to learn how to use it in both. We're going to use Quick Parts in the Microsoft 365 Outlook desktop app and we're going to use templates in the new Outlook as well. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you want to supercharge away as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So starting off with the traditional Microsoft Outlook 365 desktop app, we're going to launch into Outlook here and then we're going to go and into the top left hand corner, we're going to create new email. So we're going to select on new email and a new email box is going to pop up. From here, we're just going to create the template for the first time and we can even add images in here as well. But for today's example, I'm just going to say this is a quick demo. I'm going to grab a screenshot just so you can see what the image looks like. It's going to be of the ribbon here. Nothing fancy, but that's okay because it's just the demo. I'm going to paste it in. And then I'm going to say thank you and my name. When you've got the template that you want to create and repeat, we're simply going to select on all of it. Actually, we can do this after. So what we're going to do is in the ribbon here, we've got file, message, insert, draw, all these options. We're simply going to select on insert. And then on the right hand side of this, you're going to find an option that says quick parts. Yours might be in a different section of your Outlook, but you're looking for this button called quick parts. We can drop down quick parts and you can see here there's auto text with a few generals that have been created. But if we highlight our text here and select on quick parts one more time, we can actually choose to save the selections to the quick part gallery. If we open this up, we can give it a name. I'm just gonna call it demo. We can choose where you wanna store it, which would be quick parts most commonly, but you have a whole range of places here to store it, like page numbers, headers, footers, all that sort of stuff. You can add a description so you know what this is uh, gonna be. So if you've got quite a few quick parts or templates, you can use the description button here. And then you can choose how you wanna save it. Right now, we can only have the option of normal email. And then under options, we can say insert content only. We can insert it as its own paragraph or even insert it at its own page. Uh, the most common way is inserting the content only. So I'm gonna select on this and go okay. And then now if we drop down that quick parts box, you can see here, we also get our demo option and under auto text, we have a few, this is a new section uh, that was created, uh, but in our general section, we have our demos here. So if we close this out, and save those changes and we create a brand new email, we can select on the body of that email, go insert and then under quick parts, you can see we have our demo option, select that and it pastes it straight in for you. So this is a really easy way of quickly creating templates in Microsoft Outlook with the 365 desktop app. The other way of doing this and the new way of doing it is actually in the new Outlook and we're gonna use a function called templates. What I will show you is that the templates function is actually also available in the traditional 365 desktop app. So under the home uh, page here, under the insert option, you can see here that there is also the option of templates, sorry, under messages. You can see here it says you have the option of view templates and this will open up a templates pane. Uh, but instead of doing it from here, we're gonna learn how to use the templates section in the new Microsoft Outlook app, but it's gonna be very similar. So in the new Microsoft Outlook, we're simply gonna create a brand new email. Let's open this up full screen and then let's start creating this template again. So this is a demo of how to create. I'm also gonna grab another screenshot just so we can show we have images in here. Paste it in and again. We're just gonna say thank you. Cool. So now under the insert tab in new Outlook, we are gonna have, it's a much simpler uh, layout and I really like it because it does simplify it. You have the button here already installed called my templates where you can view and manage your templates. So let's open this up. The dialog box is gonna pop up on the right hand side and it's gonna tell you about the template add-in. Uh, it says you can't include it says here you can include text and images in your templates and you can save it to things like your OneDrive for Business. That way it follows you with the uh, on the internet instead of just being stored locally to your machine. Once we select on continue, uh, you can see here it has three default templates that are uh, built into it. Uh, of course, if you wanted to delete these, you can select on the delete option or you can edit it 
by selecting on the edit template. I'm actually going to delete these for now because we don't really need them, but I'll keep lunching here because who doesn't like uh, asking people to lunch. I'm going to select on the plus button where it says template, and then it's going to ask me to add in a template title. I'm just going to call it that template. Then I'm going to copy that text, paste it in here with the image and hit save. You see here that you run into the error that it says this message is too large. Please make it smaller and try again. So if I get rid of that. I actually didn't run into this issue before. I didn't know you had a limit to this. So maybe try a smaller image and look at that. So it will save across the smaller image, but I guess uh, I just learned there is a file size or a limit size to the size of the image you can drop in. But most of the time you're gonna use a text-based template anyway, and to that you shouldn't have any issues. I'm gonna close this. Let's go into new email one more time. Let's pop this out so it's easy to see. And then in the insert tab, we're gonna go my templates. And then you'll see here we have the demo and we're just gonna drop it in. It's gonna save us having to write it out over and over again. The cool thing about using the templates option is that because it uses the web application, this will follow you across when you sign into Outlook on different computers, or even if you're using different versions of Outlook. So for example, we're currently in the new Outlook, but if I jump over to the traditional 365 desktop app, I open up our new email and then I go view templates. Even though we created this in the new Outlook application, our templates follow us across. So this is really quite cool. And there you go. It is that easy to create Outlook templates using the quick parts in Microsoft Outlook 365 desktop app and the new Outlook using templates. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. If you want to supercharge your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.